My name is Sam Hudson. Uh, I'm a geology professor at Brigham Young University. I study sedimentology. I focus on research on sandstones and mudstones and their application to energy systems, oil and gas specifically. And I teach uh, sedimentology stratigraphy both at the undergraduate and graduate level. And I also teach 101 and a few other classes. I began as a college student not knowing what my major was going to be. Um, I was interested in engineering, architecture, a few other things. Um, took a geology class and that made up my mind. So the reason I'm a sedimentologist is because I enjoy understanding the world around me. Uh, something unique about sedimentology is if I want to understand an ancient stream system, I can go stand in a stream. Uh, if I want to understand an ancient coastal system, I go to the coast. We take field trips with students to Houston every other year where we study modern systems. We stand on the beach and we dig trenches and we talk about how waves form beaches. We stand on a point bar in a stream and we understand how streams evolve through time. We can take that understanding of modern systems and apply it directly to the ancient rocks of the Cretaceous in Utah. And that's what really connects me to geology is understanding modern systems and how those are preserved through time and what those mean for the water that we drink and the oil and gas that we produce and the geothermal systems that power homes. So uh, sedimentology really is the best of geology because you get to connect the modern with the past in a way that's really unique. A lot of my research is international. So I've done research the last few years. I've had a sponsored research project in Azerbaijan, which most people don't know where that is. <laughs> it's over on the Caspian Sea. Uh, we've recently finished, we're wrapping up a project in, on the North Slope of Alaska, and we're kicking off a new research project in Greece right now. And the focus is really understanding the paleo environment, what those places used to look like, how they evolved, and what that means for the future of the planet. Um, geology is an outdoor science, at least the way I do it. Um, and so we get students out in the field. We do a lot of work in Wyoming. We travel to faraway places and we get to do world-class research. Um, we've been in Alaska the last few years flying helicopters around the North Slope. And that's not a bad way to do research. <laughs> Uh, having BYU's reputation allows us to get really great external funding and work with top-notch companies who are willing to pay for our research and so we get to go do great things. Um, it's a great student experience. I think there's never been a more important time to understand geology personally. Uh, if, when we watch the news we see conflicts over energy, we see stories on climate change, critical resources, lithium ion batteries for EV vehicles. Uh, almost everything we do touches geology in some way. And so understanding where those resources come from, how we can produce them and use them responsibly, how to balance the things that we need and the cost that those things come with is critical. And so, if you care about climate change, if you care about energy security, if you care about geopolitics, if you care about hazards, natural disasters, geology speaks to all those and is critical to solving all those really important problems.